uh, but the National Assembly Deputy Speaker Joyce Laboso has taken an early lead in Jubilee Party's nominations for the gubernatorial race in Bomet. Uh, Stephen Latoy is standing by. As you can see, he's joining us now live with more. Uh, Stephen, why don't you update us on the latest figures? Well, uh, very good evening to you, and uh, indeed, the people of Bomet have made a decision uh, that, that is the Jubilee Party members uh, uh, that is uh, here in Bomet have made their decision today, and it is that decision that is be, that we will know uh, shortly who they want to fly the Jubilee Party ticket ahead of the August 8th polls, and so several uh, aspirants uh, squaring it out to their, uh, with, their co with their colleagues in the party primaries today, a lot happening in terms of, uh, you know, uh, uh, vote count counting now going on. The, the, the county's telling center stayed at uh, St. Joseph's Bakita, where now the official results will be known and who is who will be known in the race for governor of Bomet County, the race for governor, uh, I mean the race for senator, the race for woman representatives, as well as five constituencies that make up uh, Bomet County, and so is other seats of uh, the county assembly representatives. And so a lot going on, uh, results are trickling in. As you say there, Joyce Laboso, the deputy Speaker of the National Assembly taking a lead in the, in the race to clean the Jubilee Party ticket to square it out with Chama Chamashinani leader and incumbent Governor Isaac Kruto in the August 8 polls. Remember, uh, for now, the, some of the provisional results we have managed to receive is she has uh, Joyce Laboso is taking a lead of uh, slightly above 7,000 votes against her rival uh, Konesu is above 4,000. And just quickly, some of the polling stations and some of the regions that we've been able to receive some of the results and is uh, for instance Yaganek a primary uh, school polling station where uh, Joyce Laboso had 266 against our uh, uh, closest contender that is uh, John Con Julius Conesi rather with 109 some others include Chebilat uh, dispensary where similar uh, similar results are trickling in and so what happens is what is happening now is uh, the uh, the sampling of the constituency results before they are transmitted to the county tallying center where the official results will be, trans uh, will be now announced officially by the county returning officer. Remember, the seats are uh, four constituencies making up Bomet County, Chepalungu, uh, Soti constituency, Konoin, uh, Bomet Central, and Bomet East, having, uh, some having even over 10 aspirants. For instance, in Konoin, we had 17 aspirants squaring out today uh, for the Jubilee Party ticket. That uh, replicating even to the county assembly, uh, uh, county assembly seats, for instance, Kaple Tundawad, having 16 aspirants uh, 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 trying to, uh, to scramble for that ticket. But some uh, hitches hit the, today's exercise. Some, some, of the ballot, uh, some of the ballot papers delivered to some uh, words like Kapletundo did not have uh, half of the names of the aspirants. And so that process of voting or uh, choosing who will fly the, the, the flag for on behalf of uh, or uh, the flag for the Kapletundo word were put on hold and other seats will continue. And so and any time from now we will be able to know who is who but clearly for the race of governor the race is now has been narrowed down to Julius Conez and Joyce Laboso remember three of them were contesting for that particular seat today and for the seat of Senator uh, 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 Andrew Langat is taking lead against her uh, closest co uh, competitor that is uh, Wilfred Lesan who is the incumbent senator of Bomet County and so any time from now on we will be able to give you the, the correct results or the the official results on, of the total tally that is uh, undergoing at Bakita St. Joseph's here in Bomet County. For now, we are sampling some of the new results we are receiving from various constituencies, returning officers, and uh, once they are sampled by the county returning officer, then we'll be able to know who is who and who is going to represent the Red Brigade in various uh, seats here in the county of Bomet. Anne. Thanks very much, Stephen Little.